Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. In this video, we're going to be talking about some new information that has been confirmed for us for the Link Summoning Era, specifically in regards to cards like Cyframe Lord Omega. Now, recently we've had a lot of questions in terms of how does cards like Cyframe Lord Omega interact with the extra monster zone? Cyframe Lord Omega, Cyframe Lord Zeta, like things that temporarily banish from the field and return them to the board, like things like uh, Farfa, the Burning Abyss. Like, things like that. What would happen if you farfed a monster out of the extra monster zone, and then it came back to the board? Because in the instance of things like Farfa banishing a card, and then Cyphering Lord Omega and Zeta banishing themselves, it's always been this really weird, like, system of how it interacts. It removes itself from the board, but then it returns itself to the board. It does not resummon itself, and it puts itself on the board in the same position, in, in theory, the same zone, and it is counted as summoned from the extra deck still in the case of Cypher Lord Omega and Zeta, and if a extra deck monster that was properly summoned was banished off Farfa, it comes back to the board and it's still treated as if it was summoned from the extra deck. So how are cards like that going to interact with the extra monster zone? People have been asking me this, a lot of people have been asking me this for what my opinion was on the matter, and a lot of people have been asked by me as far as like what uh, what they th like what I think or what they think that they should infer from it that I could use as a way to like build information for it as well. And so the thing that I kind of assumed was that maybe since it returns itself to the board, it's going to put itself back into the extra monster zone because we'd already been confirmed with things like Stardust Dragon. If Stardust Dragon negates a card that would destroy something and then is trying to summon itself from the graveyard at the end of the turn, that is a fresh summon. That is a new summon effect. That is a new summon method, and it is not summoning itself from the extra deck. So in theory, that would be, you know, what allows it to go into the main monster zone versus something like Cypher and Lord Omega. But in this article on Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization with more link summoning rules, we have got a good amount of clarification for how this is going to operate under this temporary banishment effect under the new master rule set but it says if you use such a card to banish a monster for a predetermined amount of time written in its card text so like Omega Zeta and Farfa until the end of the turn until the next standby phase whatever and it returns to the field by set effect it is not treated as a special summon because of this you can temporarily banish and return special summon monsters that were not summoned properly Usually a card returning from a temporary banishment does not start a chain. A, re a card returning from temporary banishment returns in the same position it was in pre-banishment, in the same way, even if a card's control changed, it returns to the field of the last player who controlled the pre-banishment, also face down cards return face down. So these are all the things that we already had pre-established. They come back in the same place, the same way, it's not treated as a special summon, so if, if you summon Cypher Lord Omega, like with some weird way that just puts it on the board without properly synchro summoning it, it's not a summon, so it puts it back on the board anyway. All that sort of stuff. If you summon a Stardust Dragon off Starlight Road and someone farfes it, it will come back. Even though it cannot revive itself off its own effect, if it tributes to negate something, it will still return itself to the board um, off of like something like a Farfa banishing it or Interdimensional Matter Transporter, all that sort of nonsense. But here is the main thing that we need to be worrying about. If a monster in the extra monster zone is temporarily banished and returns, it returns to the main monster zone of the last player who controlled it in the same battle position. During this time, if the main monster zone is filled, the monster is sent to the graveyard instead. So that is a huge thing. That means that Cypher Lord Omega can be summoned into your extra monster zone and then can banish itself and then during the next standby phase where it comes back, it will return itself to your main monster zone. Also, if your main monster zones are full, it will go to the graveyard instead. Even if your extra monster zone is open, you cannot place it in the extra monster zone because it's not being treated as a special summon from the extra deck. So, even if you have full a full five like monster main monster zone and your extra monster zone is open, Omega cannot put itself there. It will go to the graveyard. So, what does this mean? This means that there is actually like some hope for other decks to be able to play post link format without having to implement links necessarily like things like the dark synchro deck that basically just focus on omega hand looping and stuff like that are still capable of existing to a degree they may have to modify their turn structure just a bit because they are going to be able to just only be able to summon Omega in the extra monster zone, then banish it to free up the space, and then just kind of, you know, turbo from there. But there's still the possibilities to do stuff there because of the fact that you're going to be able to banish that Omega, free up that spot, uh, use your resources to take a card away from your opponent, and then during the next turn, it will come back to your main monster zone and continue to be a resource and a body for you. So, like, that's just a huge thing. That's a huge thing that I'm so glad has been confirmed as the way it works because, like I said, the way I was assuming that it would work until we got any confirmation was that Omega would banish itself from. From the extra monster zone and then would put itself back in the extra monster zone if it was available during the following standby phase when it came back because that's just what like ran in line the most like conveniently with the knowledge we already had about how temporary banishment works like it comes back 
and nothing changes. It goes into like the same zone if it, if it was available to it. It comes back in the same position. It's treated as the same summoning method. The same summon was put into it. All that sort of stuff. It just made the most sense to assume that it went into the extra monster zone. But gladly, it does not go into the extra monster zone. It goes into your main monster zone. But it is still treated as being summoned from the extra deck because it being returned is not resummoning it in any way. So, cards like Cypher and Lord Omega work the exact same way as Stardust Dragon does with how it returns to the board into the main monster zone. So that's fantastic. I'm super glad that this is actually the case. But continuing on with uh, with the other points, if any monster that is temporarily banished in returns, and if there are no free monster zones, that card is sent to the graveyard instead. We've already covered this. And if a temporarily banished card is special summoned by a card effect or goes to the graveyard, and it gets banished again and is no and is no longer uh, returns to the field in the original timing. Uh, what? I think I just had dyslexia and just read that wrong. If a temporarily banished card is special summoned by a card effect or goes to the graveyard, and gets banished again. It is no longer. It is no longer returns to the field. Okay, so that's just poor translation. I wasn't being dyslexic. But so what that means is, if you say uh, banish Cypher and Lord Omega, and then Different Dimension reincarnationed it, and then it went, it got banished again by some other method, like not its own method, like not its own effect. Like if it got banished by like a Farfa, uh, then it will not be in the banished zone to return. At the proper timing of its original thing, uh, stuff like that. It's it's not it's not something that should come up very often. Um, the main thing that like that ever came up with um, was like uh, was like with Gold Sark. If you Gold Sark for something and then special summon it off Levier and then banish it again, like most commonly in the case of like Rescue Rabbit, um, it was not counted as being attached to by uh, the Gold Sark anymore. Uh, so with the timing for Gold Sark to resolve, it wouldn't be there. Uh, stuff like that. But basically, that is the gist of this video. We have confirmation now on how cards like Cypher and Lord Omega work and how things like Farfa work. If you Farfa a card out of the extra monster zone, at the end of the turn it will come back into a main monster zone. Cypher and Lord Omega and Zeta, if you banish them via their own effect, they will come back into the main monster zone even if they were banished out of the extra monster zone. So that's a huge thing that uh, lets us basically just do a lot of cool nonsense in terms of how we're going to be uh, going forward in the format. But anyway, as always guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense. Like, comment, subscribe to all that nonsense. Same old, same old. All that sort of stuff. Check out the links in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support me directly. Then Patreon is the way to go as well as it gets you access into a monthly giveaway that's going on at the end of this month for a box of Duelist Saga and all that sort of stuff. And it also gets you access to my personal Discord server. But other than that, if you want to support me indirectly and are also looking to buy and sell cards, then definitely check out Second Chance Gaming's website. Link to that is also in the description. They are a very good like supporter of this channel they're a direct sponsor of me and this channel as an entity and i'm a big fan of how they do business their pricing and shipping from what i've had to deal with are both top notch but other than that if you're going to buy anything from them or check them out at all just let them know phoenix sent you because they help me out a lot and going to them would help me out even more if that's something you want to do but other than that that's it for this video as i may have already said thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual what do you guys think about this information how do you think omega is going to fare in the new format um, with like Link Era and stuff like that. Do you think it's going to be a super important card and all that nonsense? I don't know. I just want your opinions down below. But other than that, thanks for watching as I've already said. Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next video.